California U.S. Senate race is Eric Early. Eric, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Beautiful Saturday morning. Yes, yes, it sure is. Um, tell me, what were your thoughts as you watched the events of Thursday transpire? Listen, it's a tragedy for the country. Uh, it's often been said that you can indict a ham sandwich because when they go to the grand jury, these uh, special prosecutors to uh, indict, the other side, in this case, Trump's side, his lawyers, uh, they can't put on any witnesses. They can't make any arguments. So it's all laid out there by, in this case, a special prosecutor, this guy that looks like Charles Manson Jr., this Jack Smith. And he's a hatchet man for the president of the United States. And it's we should not be using our criminal justice system to beat opponents that you cannot beat at the polls. Let's just let the people decide who they want to be president. Uh, so it really is tragic. And frankly, because of how easy it is to get an indictment, uh, there, uh, there's not a former president of the United States that you could not line up something against to get indictments against. This is just a terrible thing. And frankly, at the end of the day, uh, it, Trump's going to beat these charges. I, you know, I've been an attorney for 30 years. And uh, this latest round of indictments really comes down to, did Trump actually believe in his mind, in his heart, that the 2020 election was rigged and stolen? And he absolutely did. He's not making it up. And that's what this whole indictment is going to come down to. And But the unfortunate thing is, for the next few years, we're going to have to live through, uh, you know, many of the media, many in the media, just every minute, every day, just going after him, coming up with things instead of focusing on what is hurting our nation. You know, we just have huge problems in our nation and and in our state. It's it's why I'm running for a United States Senate. My opponents, they all support uh, they all support keeping parents in the dark about what's going on with their children in in the classroom. You know, I'm running against uh, three beauties: Adam Schiff. Uh, Katie Porter and Barbara Lee, they all voted against the Parents' Bill of Rights. What would that have done? That lets parents know uh, what the students' curriculum is in school and what books they're reading. Who would vote against that? But that's what I'm up against, just so many of the problems. We have to keep, we've got to keep our daughters' sports and women's sports just for biological, biological women. Uh, a couple of years ago, nobody would have thought that we would have had to look at pictures of somebody born a male who's six foot five in a swimming against women and that we actually haven't have to have an argument about whether they should be competing against uh, women and uh, in our women's and our daughter's locker room seriously. So, you know, we have so many problems. We need to work for the people. And this sideshow, this terrible sideshow that Joe Biden has created to defeat opponent that it looks like he will not uh, uh, defeat at the polls. Is terrible. We got crime on the rise. We got five million across our border, and counting fentanyl killing over hundred thousand Americans. Uh, you know what I would do with the uh, the inflation that's crushing our our fellow Americans is uh, we all know what's happened with our bills in the last two and a half years since Biden's been, become president. We've got to be en energy independent again. We've got to stop spending trillions of dollars. We've got to fight for our people. And unfortunately, right now. We're not witnessing that with this indictment stuff. And Eric, where can our viewers find out more about you and your campaign and your mission? Well, I'll tell you, uh, I need everybody's support. Tr uh, Schiff, Porter, and Lee, they, they're professional politicians, meaning they, that's all they've done their whole life. They've been in office for over 50 years combined. Look at the mess they've put us in. They've been raising millions. Go to ericearly.com because uh, we can win this race. The only major poll taken since I got in this race three and a half months ago shows me leading all three of them. So please go to ericearly.com. Your donations are incredibly uh, important. You can sign up to volunteer. I've got a great team, and we're going all around the state speaking to so many great Americans of fighting for all forgotten Americans. And that goes across party lines, across racial lines. We can win this. All right, Eric Early, candidate for U.S. Senate. Thank you for your time, Eric. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Well, Project Compassion sends medical experts, doctors, and nurses across the world to assist communities.